bought some of the world's most unique fidget toys and I'm curious what they're gonna be like. As you can see here on my desk, there are so many different kinds of fidget toys that I was able to buy from the UK. Everything from the Ms. Magic Mysterious Dancing Lights, Unicorn Kreeblers, and Magnificent, Magnificent Bubbles. Bubbles! And even something I never heard of before called Jacob's Ladder a Fidget Toy. And so I'm curious which one of these fidget toys that I bought is the best one for its value. Let me know in the comment section below, have you heard of any of these before? But since I'm really curious about the Ms. Magic, let's go ahead and start with this one right away. And so this product is by Marvin's Magic, which is supposed to have mysterious lights that we can kind of move around and play around with in order to keep busy, but apparently, according to the website, Ms. Magic is supposed to be mysterious dancing lights to wow our friends. Now listen, y'all are my friends, and I'm trying to wow you. Let's keep this as real as possible and let me know, did I wow you? Just put it there, okay? I'm putting my wowing in your hands. But funny enough, we don't get any kind of videos or instructions or how it's actually supposed to look like. And when I try to find any kind of videos on YouTube, they look blurry. And the light does seem like it's just kind of popping out out of nowhere. And I don't know what kind of illusion that's supposed to... That looks... It does look pretty cool. So I don't know what to expect. So let's see what we get inside. It is really light. Alright, first things first, we have Marvin's Magic. I'm guessing, what, what is, what are you? What is all of this? Oh my goodness, that is, that is a flyer. <laughs> okay, this is for products if we want to buy more. I think I bought enough. And then we have another pamphlet here. What is this? What are you? Video instructions here. Where is here? It's an app? <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to find the app. And then in the main compartment itself, it looks like we- Two fingers! Excuse me? What? What? <laughs> no! Stop! This is hilarious! Not to mention the skin tone is quite off, but okay, let's roll with it. <laughs> what? Okay. The Mysterious Dancing Lights. Amazing pink light from anywhere. Okie dokie. And then we have the instructions over here, which I'm going to go ahead and read. <laughs> what? Okay, let me read this and see if I can wow you. Alright, so, I did read the instructions. It does seem pretty interesting. We even have little <laughs> thumb, thumb prints. Thumb prints? And there are tiny batteries on the inside. This is supposed to go into your thumb. Now my thumbs are pretty big, but this is basically what you're supposed to do. So it's supposed to be like, oh my goodness, there's, hang on, let me put it in my thumb. <gasps> there's lights. Oh, I got it. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Throw it away. And then I catch the light again. <laughs> is it working? Am I wowing you? Wow. This is kind of entertaining though. And then we can have the other thumb. So again, the batteries are included. You just remove it, shove it into your thumb. And then we have our light to be like, oh, look at my light. Is it working? There. Look at my light. Ooh, ooh, am I gonna catch it? What? Oh, look at the light. Oh, oh, it's got, oh. <laughs> Is it working? Oh, oh, I got the light from you. Oh, I threw it away. Oh, I caught it again. <laughs> Is this working? <laughs> This is way too entertaining. This is definitely nice for my ADHD brain. I, I do have ADHD, so I can grab the light, throw it and catch it again. Look at this, pretty cool. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Am I wowing you? I am wowing myself. <laughs> you just blew my mind. Oh, 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 the light is over here. Okay, okay, let's, let's let it, let it go. I'm just gonna grab the light from my hat, throw it up. It's behind my head right now. <laughs> okay. Let me know what you think. I'm going to rate this a funness and fidgeting level of a 9 on 10. I'm genuinely having fun with this. It's quiet, it's portable. I just don't... Look, look at that light. Ooh, 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 got it! <laughs> okay, I'm loving this. I don't think I need any tutorials. I'm having fun. And of course I gave the magic lights to Pat to try and wow me as well. And I have to say, I think my laughter basically says everything. <laughs> And he definitely enjoyed it too. And one, two, oh. both. <laughs> yeah. 
Now the next items we have here are magnificent bubbles. By the way, the majority of these things that I bought were from a really interesting toy store in London and it's called Hamley's. And Hamley's was really a very hype type of toy store. They just had performers on the outside that were dancing and singing and bringing the audience in to come and hang out. And the inside had a variety of different fidget toys and collectibles and mystery boxes. But I have to say, as big as it was, it felt like it had a little bit of everything, but also not enough. But it's definitely an experience to go check out. And if you want to see the full vlog on that, I will be putting it on my other channel, Nerdy Jackie. So keep an eye out for that. And here we have the fidget touchable bubbles. So we should be able to basically manipulate bubbles, but then we also have magnificent bubbles. I'm curious what the difference is on these two because this one was three pounds and these ones come up to about five pounds each. So is the two pound difference really that much of a worth it kind of thing? Let's find out. So the idea is we should blow the bubbles, wait for them for three seconds, and then we can hold it. Three seconds is a lot of air time, but let's go ahead and try it. Long lasting bubbles you can catch. Okie dokie. So first things first, let's see what this looks like on the inside. Oh, that is goopy. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna bring my trusty felt in here because we want to take a closer look. And you can see how thick this is. It's kind of like honey thick. Look at that, very, very thick. I don't know if we can blow a bubble from that, but let's give it a try anyways. Let's see if there's a smell. It smells like soap. Oh, oh, these are tiny. Oh, look at that. Okay, we can hold it. Yeah, here's the tiny bubble. Very holdable and it shrinks. Funny, interesting. Okay, it's actually still on my camera. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Very goopy. I'm gonna let it go down. Let's see if we can get a bigger one. Okay, they're just flying everywhere. Let's grab, nope, nope. There we go. We have one. And again, here's what it looks like. Let's see it in real time shrink because it's still sitting on my hand. Looking pretty good. It's all over my camera. It's all over my set. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. Can I touch you like this? Oh, cute. And deflates. Yeah, this is definitely very entertaining. I can see myself blowing the bubbles just to kind of hold them and watch them sit on everything. They're just sitting there. Hang on, look. It's kind of hard to see them, but they're over here, they're over there, and they're even on my camera up there. <laughs> now, when it comes to Magnificent Bubbles, I was very much so convinced to get it because of the ad they had in the store itself. And if we look at it right now, it's basically stretching a string of bubbles. Someone is blowing it out of their mouth, which is like a yellow ball. And then it looks like they're actually holding the bubble in between their hand like a balloon which is kind of interesting to me. So I'm not sure if there are instructions. Actually, there are instructions. Step one is squeeze a blob into your hand, place the magic straw in the center of the ball, and then pinch it around, and then blow the bubble up. So, okay, let's see. Now, the different colors of the tubes are supposed to be the different colors of the actual balloon. So let's go ahead and try with the blue. I don't want to destroy the instructions. I got you. Voila. And each tube seems to come with a flute type looking piece of plastic. Okay, I think I understand. All right, so here we have our magnificent bubble. Let's go, oh, we have to open that. Let's pinch it with the top, voila. Oh my goodness. This is gonna get messy, isn't it? Hang on, let me, let me get a napkin. I got, I got the napkin, got it. I have a feeling this is gonna get messy, but maybe it's not. By the way, the balloons are still on my, on my equipment. All right, so let's put the goo in our hand. Oh wow, that is, that is coming out. How big, I don't know. Let's put it in our hand like a saw. My goodness, like, oh my goodness. Okay, got it. They really don't say how big it needs to be, so I'm just kind of making it up as I go. And then we roll it into a ball. Yeah, it really does, oh, you know what? Maybe it needs to be bigger than that. Hang on, let's add more goo. I don't know how big, but okay. Let's just, let's just keep adding. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, maybe this is big enough. And then we make a circle. It basically feels like clay, if you've ever played with clay. There we go. And then it says to place it in the straw, like so. Okay, <laughs> I think so. I think this is what's going on here. It smells like, like soap, so it doesn't really smell like anything bad. And now slowly and gently, we're going to go ahead and blow this up. Okay. Mm. Mm. 
Okay, slowly and gently, this definitely worked. Let's try again. Oh my goodness, it is droopy. And the good thing about this, if you're anything like me and you're afraid of balloons popping, this is not the thing that's gonna happen. All right, so let's, how do I remove you? How do I remove, I don't know. It seems quite thin. What do I do now? Instructions. Spread the goo with your hands to make it bigger. Okay, I, I guess. So let's go ahead and pinch it. Voila. So here it is, I guess make it bigger. Okay, we can stretch it. It is not looking good. I mean, here it is. It is sticky and it's keeping its shape. I just don't, oh, what? Oh no, it got stuck to the instructions. No, I have to say, I'm not too crazy about this. The idea is kind of neat. Here it is. Can we pop it? I don't think it pops because that's the whole point is that it's kind of like soapy and it becomes a little gum. Can we reuse this? Wait, hang on. Okay, let's find out if we can reuse it. I'm gonna try this. Roll it back into a ball. Put it back in the middle. I don't think we will be able to, but we might as well try. Let's go ahead again. <laughs> this is not working out. No, it is a one-time use kind of thing. So you need a fresh one every time you want to make a new one. So I'm gonna say, if you have the choice between these two bubbles, I feel like this one has more fidget and playability. This one is kind of a one-time use thing, whereas this is, I feel, more fun. And just to show you grains, those bubbles are still on there, okay? Just so you have an idea, it stays for quite some time. We've been recording for no less than 10 more minutes and it's hanging out there. Next we have something called Fidget Quick Bop, Light Up Tap Game. We haven't seen this before, we have seen poppets, we have seen light up games, but we haven't seen this combination together. So apparently it's supposed to be memory game and luckily it does come with its own batteries, which is good for us. So let's check it out. Oh, it comes with a tiny instruction. Let's open it here. What are you? Play, pause, power button, and you have to press it again to turn it off, okay? And it comes with batteries, that's it. I think it's self-explanatory at this point. And it does come with its own keychain, which is nice. You can put it on your bag, your backpack, or even on your belt buckle if that's what you want. And we can pull the tab for the batteries. Okay, these are funny faces. Do we have any repeating faces? No, they all look to be very different. We have happy, goofy, confused, mad, shocked, normal happy, and then winky face. Let's turn it on. What? I hope I'm not supposed to remember all this. What am I doing? Oh, oh, it's a reflex game. Okay. I'm supposed to actually touch it. I was just like staring at it. Okay, now what? What am I doing? This, I'm gonna stop this right here. This is probably one of the most obnoxious fidgets I have ever seen and not, ob not, ob not obnoxious in a good way. This is probably one of the worst obnoxious fidgets I have ever seen. Holy shrimp. I'm kind of speechless. <laughs> I'm gonna rate this like a two on 10 at best, at real best. Let's move on to something also on the unique side. Now, unique is not always the best thing, but this one is called Jacob's Ladder. Now, I haven't seen these before. Although Jacob's Ladder sounds familiar, I feel like Kitty Editor can definitely educate us. Education time with Kitty. And this is a really heavy fidget toy. So I don't know what to expect. It does look a bit like a zigzaggy stair or ladder. We don't have any other instructions. So let's go ahead and see what exact, oh, oh, okay. This is wood. Okay, okay. It says magic. What am I doing now? What am I doing? This is pretty. It's definitely pretty, but what am I doing? Hello? 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 I am so confused right now. Let me check online if this is supposed to be something. It was with the fidget toys. So let's see what's going on here. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Okay, if this is doing what the video showed me that it was doing, this is gonna be actually pretty phenomenal. So the idea is we can hold it like this and then when we push it downwards, there's a piece that just walks down. So if I, if I just do this again, does that make sense? Let me try that in front of the other camera. Okay, so here it is and I'm gonna just move this this way. Oh my goodness, hang on. This is really hard to work with distance this way. 
Look at that, and then put it that way. I have no idea how. How is that possible? That's pretty cool. And then if you hold it this, <laughs> if you hold it this way and then bend, these will go up, down, up, and then flip. This is so weird. Bend it up, goes down, bend it down, bend it that way. Okay, that is just so weird. Bend it again, nothing. That's so weird. I don't understand this. But if we keep it straight and just bend the top, they all kind of just fall. Look at that. Okay, I think I understand the magic part of it. And it's basically just a fidget toy of playing around with the physics of it, I guess. Look at that. We're gonna do that again. You'll see, it just, it does funny things. Bend it. And it collapses on itself. <laughs> this is pretty entertaining. It's subtle, but you have to know what you're doing with it. It's not exactly portable. It is pretty heavy, but it's kind of neat. It's very unique. I'm gonna give it a solid 7.8 just for creativity, and I do like the colors too. But also, if you haven't yet heard, I do have my very own craft kit of acrylic pour art. Not just any art. Bears. But Jackie, bears? Yes, this box is called Figure It Out. Mm 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 mm. Figure it out. Mm, 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 mm. And in this kit, you're going to be getting tiny bears. As you can see here, where Mariah Elizabeth and Hope Scope both play around with the kit. And with these tiny bears, you can either customize it right away with your very own air dry clay in the kit, or you can skip customizing and go straight into bear pour art. In this kit, you'll get everything you need, literally everything from the cup divider where you can put up to five colors, pre-mixed paint, a custom one-of-a-kind drying rack that we had made specifically for this kit, detail brushes, sanding stick, glue, miniature canvases to avoid paint waste, all the way to the little mat that you can put on your desk to avoid messing your own space. Did I mention you get sticker packs too? And in these sticker packs, you have nine to collect and one holographic, but there's also a golden ticket. And if you find the golden ticket, I will leave the prize that you can get down below, which also includes you choosing my next vlog. But be sure to hurry because right now we have an amazing deal for 10% off that is automatically applied. So check the link down below and get yours today and don't miss out. Now we have two that are kind of familiar to us but look a little different. So I'm curious to see how they look like internationally. Here we have the Oh So Sensory Pop Cube. It is a fidget fun. Now this is basically similar to the fidget pets and pop it pets that we've seen where you basically have to press all the buttons and then you can squeeze it to make a very satisfying sound like so. And this one's just a tiny cube. Why don't you just open easily <laughs> now? Okay, we're just gonna ruin the box at this point. <laughs> and sometimes the problem with these is that they could have an air pocket somewhere which makes it hard to actually push in. Let's hear that. Oh. That sounds good, let's squeeze. Oh my goodness. Now the question is, can we get all of them pushed in? Here's the four, two. Oh, that popped right back up. Let's try that three, something popped back out again. There may not be enough air. Yeah, there may not be enough air on the inside to get them all done. But we did get quite a few. Let's go ahead and pop. Very satisfying. It works well. It's a good portable one. You can also squeeze it. Uh oh, I feel like, is the squeezing going to ruin it? Oh no, the air is coming out. Listen. Oh, I think we ruined it. Is it coming back out? Are you gonna fix yourself? I think we may have broken it. Let's try that again. Let's push these in and do the pop. Yeah, be careful. If you squeeze it too much, a lot of the air can come out and then it's just not going to work as it should be. But overall, I'm going to say this is pretty good and I'm going to give it a rating of eight as long as it works. And then we have Suction Sea Life Pops. Uh -huh. And these are actually way bigger than I thought. We have a double-sided whale. Nice. Oh, these are great. Oh my goodness. We have a starfish, and these have some really, they're really solid quality. Oh my goodness, this actually holds. Get out of here. We have some kind of, I guess a flounder? Let's see if we can balance it this way. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this can be a game in itself. You could just try to balance the suctions as best as you can. We have a coral, which doesn't have any suctions any other place, so we can kind of place it here. A seahorse. I'm guessing this is a dolphin, and it has suctions on both ends. A manta ray, I think, and a crab. 
So technically you can try and balance these things. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you want. Let me try and get that dolphin on the other side. Woo! Yeah, this is fun. This is so simple and yet so fun because you don't have to balance it, but you could just basically enjoy the sound of the suctions. I love these. I'm going to give these a solid 8.5 for me just because of the suction playability, the sounds, you can even get them suctioning onto each other if that's what you want to do. I like this. Worth it. I love this a lot. And now we have Unicorn Kreeblers. I absolutely love the cover of this fidget toy. The packaging itself is just adorable, very magical looking. And inside we have a stack of beautifully colored unicorns. You can scrunch them, you can throw them, and then watch them crawl. So we're gonna take them to a window and see if we can get them to crawl. And the back of the box basically tells us the exact same thing. Let's get you opened up. And the packaging is basically this dome, and here they are. They just kind of just flop on your hand. Here's what the unicorn looks like. Let's get even closer. Super cute. Do we have any other looks? This one looks like it's flying. This one's just standing, so the leg positions are different on these two unicorns. This one again is flying with an extra belly, belly button. It's, it's a belly button. Nope, it's not what you thought it was. It's a belly button. Yeah, we have standing and we have flying. So these are the only two positions that we have. So we can squish them and now we have to throw them at a window. So let's go find a window. So I grabbed a few of them and just threw it at the window and they just fell down. And then I grabbed it again, smushed it through it and it's just not doing it. So I don't think this is actually working. Okay, let me just try one at a time. So throw it at the window and no, it does not crawl down. <laughs> so I'm gonna say that these ones are definitely a huge fail. Zero on 10 for me. Now I did find a fidgy pet, which is never ending fidget fun. It's a weird thing because it's supposed to be a fidget pet with 168 animals to choose from. I don't know how different this is from a Tamagotchi, but I'm going to be reviewing this in detail on my gaming channel, Raging Raccoon Gaming, since this is more of a video game type of review. So make sure you follow me on Raging Raccoon. We also stream on there. And now we're going on with Scented Sand. I do love Kinetic Sand. It just has this really satisfying sound to it. But now that it's not only just going to have a sat sat satisfying touch and sound, but it's also going to smell good. Yes, please. And here you can see we have Sento's Scented Sand and then we have Sento's Sugar Rush. So hopefully they do actually smell good. This is blueberry and this is supposed to be watermelon. And I don't know what this is supposed to be. And this just looks like a, a puke milkshake. <laughs> now let's check them out. And here's what the first one looks like. It's Sentos Scented Sand with a funny face on there. Let's open you up and let's take a whiff. Yes! It smells like a blueberry juice, but not the real blueberry juice, more like the fake ones that you can get in popsicles or sports drinks. Let's get this out. Let's have a good feel of you. Oh my goodness, yes, please. Why is this so good? Yeah, this is perfect kinetic sand if we wanna, I feel like it might be missing some moisture. And if that's the case, then we need to add a few drops of water. Yeah, definitely missing some moisture, but nothing that a few drops of water can't fix. But it does feel nice, definitely kinetic sandy. I don't have a cutter on me, but I do have a ruler. So let's see if we can get a satisfying sound. Otherwise we do need to actually wet it. And the answer is, Sounds good to me and it smells good too. But yeah, a few drops of water will help. And the next one should smell like watermelon. The answer is, oh, please. It smells like the Hubba Bubba bubble gum in watermelon flavor, but I can also tell that it's a little on the dry side. So I do recommend if you get these to definitely put a few drops, not too much because then it's gonna get too wet, but a few drops of water and then knead it in properly. It's going to have the proper shape for it. Now we have the two other ones that are basically the exact same color, I'm hoping. They just don't have the funny faces on there. So let's see if the smell is actually different. And this one does say cloud sand. Let's pull you open. What the heck? This is, this, this feels like Play-Doh. But let's see if it becomes kinetic sand. This is very elasticy. Oh my goodness. That is not like kinetic sand at all. This is a completely different texture and I am loving this. It smells good. It smells like cotton candy, but no blueberryness to it. Wait, 
It smells like soda. Yeah, like a cotton candy soda. All right, so it is very elastic-y and it feels nice. It's like a slime, but not. It really feels like string. This is good. I like this. I love this way more than the Kinetic Sand, which I didn't think I would say. Let's see if it has any kind of satisfying sound to it. Not quite. Not quite. It's more of a textural thing. If I were to give the Kinetic Sand a 7.5, I'm going to give this an 8.5. It's quiet. It feels nice. You can have it on your desk. Nobody's going to say anything. So the difference is this is scented sand and this is cloud sand. So keep that in mind. And now for the pink one, what are you going to smell like? Like soap. Yeah, it just smells like soap. And similarly, it seems like this one is a little bit less. Oh, there you go. It is definitely a very stretchy material. I love this so much. Oh my goodness. And it's so pink that my camera's having a hard time concentrating on it. It's like, this is so pink. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I love the fibers it makes. Now I'm hoping this next one is not as obnoxious as the other one we had, which went like that. Because this one is called Fidget Memory Maze, a light up game. So I'm thinking this is going to be similar to that old school game called Simon, where we just have to remember where each color goes. Now the sound effect is going to make or break this. So let's see. And we do have a tiny instructional manual. So you have to press the play button to start and then press the buttons that light up. The longer you go, the better your memory is. That's all, it's very basic. So let's unlock. Okay, that, that scared me. <laughs> let's unlock it. And it does again come with a keychain so you can put on your bag, your backpack, or wherever. So I guess this is the play button. Okay. That's cute. Let's make a mistake. I like this a lot. It's really cute. It's not that discreet, so you really can't take it with you anywhere. I wish you had an option to turn the volume off. So that if you did want to fidget with this in the bus or wherever you need to during a meeting, it wouldn't make so much noise. But yeah, I'm going to give it a baseline of 7 on 10. Let me know. <laughs> okay, I guess I didn't turn it off. Let me know which one of these fidget toys is the one that impressed you the most. If you want to watch more fidget toy reviews, make sure you check up here. If you want to catch something crafty, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video. Oh, and if you're still here after me saying see you grains in the next video, I just wanted to show you this. Okay, I'm just gonna bring this back up. We finished recording the video, but look, the bubbles are still on my camera. It's been over an hour and they're still staying there. That's, that's actually pretty impressive. You stayed here. Thank you for staying. I'll see you next time.